Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of PC World. Today I'm going to be taking a, I'm going to be explaining some more about Southbridge. Southbridge, um, well, let's start here. There's a Southbridge uh, processor on this computer. It is right there, and I have not been able to find the Northbridge yet, but I'm guessing it is underneath the main motherboard, uh, running some of the power sources of the main computer, because I have not been able to find the power source. I have been able to find the power button, which is over here on the computer, but I have not been able to find where the computer actually gets its power. You'd normally plug into your power cable right here, which plugs just right in uh, there, with the little one pin centered in the inner circle. And, as you can see, I am getting power to it because little green LED has lit up, symbolizing that it does have power. Now, you wouldn't normally be able to see the green LED because of the case that is normally on it, but let's talk some more about Southbridge and Northbridge. So, Southbridge is, uh, Southbridge takes all the processors on the computer that do not use a lot of power and they tie it directly to the CPU but Southbridge cannot directly take them to the CPU. There has to be a Northbridge processor in the computer to connect Southbridge to the CPU because if it did not um, if it did not have if I am so just, I'm having a brain fart today. Um, North, if Southbridge could do both of those, it'd have two jobs. Northbridge takes Southbridge directly to the CPU. Well, not directly, because Southbridge has to connect all of the pieces, all of the processors that do not use as much power, and then they connect with Northbridge to go directly to the CPU. Now, I'm sure as time progresses that um, we will get processors that can do both, but this is a 2011 Touch Smart 310 model. It's not running the best software. It runs an AMD Athlon um, CPU, which I which would normally go right here, but I've not um, put it in yet because it does have a bent bent pin. When we pulled it out, it came out with the entire um, Venturi Effect cooling system, which would normally lay directly on top of the on it go in with the fan with these with the copper tubing. Now, me and my dad, we both have our saying of what the copper tube is. My, I'm trying to convince my dad that it is filled with water, but he still is not 100% on that idea. Um, but I think it would because it screws down directly on top of the CPU, which the CPU would normally be underneath this. And I think that it is holding a liquid to cool the CPU. And I think that the fan is pushing air back out this, which the copper tube runs all the way through this Venturi effect system, which would be cooling the liquid that is inside because of the fan as it spins around. It is producing cold air because there is nothing to heat up the air as it's coming through other than processors and CPUs, but there is not a lot of very big processors around the fan. So, me and my dad both have our say about it, but I believe that it is a water cooling tube, that the water that's inside, or the liquid, probably some sort of cooling liquid, gets um, cooled using the air from the fan that goes directly through this Venturi effect system because you can look directly through the Venturi effect system with nothing blocking it.
so air could go directly through in theory. But air could still go directly through even if there was some sort of fin inside of it because air would take the path of least resistance which would be left or right, sometimes up and most of the time, sometimes up and sometimes down, but is mostly directly left or right. Sometimes it goes at a little bit of an angle, but I've never really heard anyone talking about where air would take the least, the where the path of least resistance air would take would be left or right. I've not yet seen that though, which I'd be very intrigued to see a computer that could do that. I just think it'd be awesome. But that's pretty much all I have to say about Southridge and Northridge and Venturi Effect CPU cooling. Um, I would like you guys to comment down below if you'd like me to do anything more with computers. And um, also comment down below um, if I should do something with a Raspberry Pi project. I think that'd be very fun to do on the channel. Um, links, uh, there will be links in the description of for the um, exact computer make and model. Um, stay tuned for the next video that should come out soon. Thanks guys.